Hey guys, welcome back to Dual Rule 16. I am your host, Jimon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Hogwarts Legacy for the PC. This is very surprising to me. So we're actually able to run this on the USD 630, and it's actually doing quite well, all things considered, considering this is a very demanding area of the game. Now, today we're running this on my Intel Core i3-1010 5. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right, but who cares? We're running with 4.2 GHz clock speed, 16 GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory, and yes, once again, it's the Intel UHD 630. Right off the bat, I had to go to the bare minimum. I could have gone lower, but I thought, what's the point at that point? But I probably will go lower for the 620, so stay tuned for that. So I have the resolution scale set to 720p, but I am using FSR2 with ultra performance. So we actually have it scaled down to 427 by 240, which is pretty damn low. Obviously, everything here is turned off and everything is set to the lowest preset. So yeah, this is interesting. We are using four gigabytes of RAM as well. Like it's using a lot of RAM. Nonetheless, it is running. And that says a lot. Uh, we are in Hogsmeade, like I said, I just decided to come here because why the heck not? Probably a great place to be. I'm gonna go outside of Hogwarts now and play around, but I just wanted to show you guys how Hogsmeade would work. <laughs> obviously, when you don't have a CPU bottleneck, it'll run a lot better and smoother because obviously it's not a CPU bottleneck. With that being said, the GPU ain't helping. The GPU certainly ain't helping. The game does run though. I Once again, I am surprised by that. These DirectX 12 games, man, they get ya. They get ya. But yeah, let's move over to, let's move over to uh, the, actually, you know what, where I want to go? I, I keep doing that. Let's carry me all the way to the forest area in Hogwarts. I haven't actually gone there yet. <laughs> Why is there no place? Okay, well, actually, no, that's probably good. We'll start, we'll start somewhere here. Yeah, we'll start, we'll start with the exit. We're going to Hogwarts as well, just to see how that performs. But once again, because it's not a CPU issue, we should be fine. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you'd like to see me suffering playing, trying to play these games on such low-end hardware, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment, all that stuff, and leave a like, man. It really helps me out on the channel. We're using 14 gigs of RAM. Like, it is demanding. So real quick, I'm going to go back into Hogwarts Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've Here we are. Like I said, shocking stuff that it actually still running. It's running above 10 FPS. I mean, I could have gone lower if I had Rumor just got my res the windowed resolution to like 8 by 800 by 600. But then, what would be the point of that, right? Okay, we're in Hogwarts. Does the frame go up or down? It it doesn't really do much at all. Oh no, it's going up. It's definitely going up. Definitely going up. Obviously, like I said, in some areas will perform much better than others. I don't know why I came all the way up here when I wanted to go into the forest. Kind of makes no sense, really, but you know, I like to live dangerously like that. I probably could just walk back out. Javon, just walk back out. Just, just don't be lazy about it. No, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to walk back out. I refuse. I refuse. Because I'm lazy about it. I will just travel over there. Crazy when it's loading in textures, man. But we're using over 14 gigs. We're seeing over 14 gigs. 16 gigs. I don't think 16 gigs is enough, obviously. Especially with integrated. If, if discrete GPU struggles, obviously an integrated will struggle even more. So just keep that in mind. Let's go into the forest area. Still, for a loin gamer, this is playable. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I I could probably I imagine a lot of people could sit down and play this game like this. I definitely could. Frame cap the FPS to 15. This may not be the worst thing ever. And they may even try to lower the res even more. Yeah, like this this is doable. Oh, enemies! Sweet, time to die. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? 
Battling the Pope. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise me you're looking for bravery. This is almost too easy. The flames consume you. You'll need a bit bingo. Well done. Go. That was a yeah, it's, Your it poaching days are over. Definitely is crazy. This was this was doable. Will this be doable on the, the 620 with the i3-7100U? Probably not, but we'll try it anyway. I mean, that ran. I feel like people are going to be surprised when they see this video. <laughs> They'll be like, damn. That looks terrible, but it runs. <laughs> but yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. We're going to go into the forest now, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I need to get that. I need to get that. Because going forward, I would like to be able to just travel over here. Or I already had it, and I just was too stupid to travel over here. Probably that. I, I probably... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I don't care, lady. Somewhat decent performance. The 620 will be worse. And I don't even want to think about how worse. But it will be worse. Ooh, enemies. Time to die again. What the heck are you? You got a lot of health. What did you got? Never mind. I stood corrected. Had a lot of health. Still playable, even in this forest area. I do recommend having a stronger CPU though to help you out. <laughs> Yeah, like, obviously, this is not gonna bottleneck my i3 10th gen, so I'll be good. But for those with, like, an i3 7th gen or something like that, it's probably not gonna be the best. But I'll see you guys next time.